wherein with the web service proxy we saw what is in proxy settings how to create a processing policy and a rule and within that rule how to make use of a match action a triple action and as well as an slm okay yes uh, we are not seeing your screen okay yeah sorry now okay so the next action what we have to see here is transform every processing rule will also can make use of a transform action and transform action is basically used when you have to execute or process an xslt file okay so whenever you have an xslt which needs to be processed you will always make use of this transform action see any logical implementation in data power let's say you have to convert an xml to a soap soap to soap or maybe a dynamic routing so we all write xslts for that and whenever we have an xslt that needs to be used at the data power end we make use of this transform action so just go to our policy and go to the processing rule so over there you can see you have different options here to choose here we can see there is a transform action correct just drag and drop if you double hit on this you can see it will ask you to choose an xslt file which can be used for the processing so at any point of time if you have an xslt to be processed you can have this transform action okay so whatever the xslt that we write we need to upload them into the file management under the local directory and that particular xslt we should be choosing it over here see i'll just browse it choose the xslt file let's say i'll take some sample random xslt for time being i'll upload Hit on continue. Okay. So this XSLT when when this transform action is getting executed, in turn it is going to execute this XSLT what you have chosen here. Okay, that is your transform action followed by.